In 2019, we introduced LogRocket Metrics to tie together session replay and application performance monitoring in an easy-to-use dashboarding tool that anyone on your team can use, regardless of their technical ability. When triaging a known issue, we know there is always concern around, is this an isolated issue? If not, how many other users were impacted? We know that the sooner these questions can be answered and quantified, the sooner you can offer your users the ideal web experience. This is why we've created Click to Create Metric. You can simply click to create a metric right from a session replay. Right where you see the error, you can uncover and determine if this error was isolated and impacted only a single user, or if this error was more pervasive. Let's see how this works. First, let's navigate back to a list of sessions that we know have an error. In this case, I know that my most recent session contains an error. Select Play to enter a session. As we glance at a time bar at the bottom of the screen, we can see some errors occurred during this session. Let's scrub to the far right error. We can see that this error relates to a failed network request. LogRocket's Network tab is where you can see all requests and responses related to your application. This failed request relates to the CAST Chrome Sender. While this error did not appear to interfere with our user session that we're watching, what about other users? Is this a pervasive issue? By clicking into the failed request, you can get additional detail. This tab on the right will display the number of times the error has occurred. This seems substantial. I'd like to know more. Select Click to Create Metric. We are now taken to a pre-populated Create Chart screen. This screen has everything we need to determine if this error has occurred throughout our application. While the name is pre-populated, you can adjust it if you like. Select which dashboard you would like this metric to be part of. You can also adjust the metric type if necessary. In this case, I prefer time series and the number of sessions that encountered this error. And finally, the filters are pre-populated to match the error used to create the metric. In this case, we had a network request error. It was equal to the URL that's been pre-populated with the status code of zero. As with any metric, you can add an alert. Click the link to this video to learn more. Finally, select Create Metric. We are now brought to our front-end performance dashboard. And we will see that we now have a metric related to the cast sender failed request. Our new metric shows a spike in sessions that encountered this error earlier today. Let's click in to view these sessions. We can now open each session independently to see how these users were impacted by the cast Chrome sender failed request and what we can do to help resolve this issue in the future.